be on princess heels. And you might want to have to hold the ankles. So what I do, after everything's all aligned and we're all good, we've had, oh, you look nice today, blah, blah, blah. I push them out a little bit to here. And then I go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guide them out, stretch to there, and then come back to here. And that's all you're going to do. And I'm going to hold your ankles. And I might could put something in between the knee just to stabilize there, you see? So what she's doing, I want her to work this. When we're doing regular Pilates, I want you to tweeze your buttocks and get aligned and lengthen up and take it out of your thighs and put it into your glutes. I want that. But for somebody who's got knee problems or just recovering from knee surgery, I want this. I want the quads. I want quads, inner thighs, glutes. Because that's what helps to strengthen the knee. Okay? And take pressure off the joint. Because you'll strengthen the muscles that support the knee. Yeah? Okay. Then we go to our arches, and it's the same thing. I help. You don't want to take any chances. And push out. There's nothing worse than, oh, I worked out with Mari Windsor and she hurt me. My, my knees hurt. Well, there goes 20,000 clients, right? And so on and so forth. Knee problems, tendon stretch, big no-no. Why would that be? Hmm? Hyperextension. hyperextension. Not even hyperextension. You're going to take the work back here anyway, even if you're not hyperextended. The only way you could maybe do it if somebody is not hurting at the moment and they feel okay, is take them out and hold them here and have them drop down and up. Okay? Keep the knee soft. Yeah, keep the knee soft so they can get their connection, right? Good, and come back. So that's a, that's a way you can approach that. Short